Hi, this is Terry. I'm sitting at work one day about noon and the doctor called me and said, remember that little warp that we took off from behind your ear about 10 days ago? She said, I'm shocked, but it's cancerous and you've got to have a PET scan tomorrow and you're going to lose the hearing in that ear and they're wanting to take your ear completely off and they're wanting to take all the lymph nodes out from your ear down to your waist. You're going to have to have major surgery to take care of this. You've got to start moving and you've got to start moving right now. And she was in a tizzy and she threw me in a tizzy all on the phone at work at noon one day. I had this little bitty thing behind my ear removed and she said as she took it off, oh, it's just a wart. It's nothing to be concerned about. But that little wart turned out to be melanoma the deadliest of skin cancers. There are some signs, some symptoms, skin cancer symptoms that you ought to be aware of. <clears throat> Normally, if they're perfectly round, it's not such a big deal, but when they become irregular in shape, or if they begin to change color, then you better have them checked out and have them checked out soon. In my case, mine had started itching, and I didn't realize it, but itching is another skin cancer symptom. If you start itching, you better have it checked out. And then mine was ulcerated, had just started in the last week or two before the surgery, leaking some sort of fluid, and that's another skin cancer symptom. If you are ulcerated, you better have it checked out. I'm a firm believer that you can't wait on this stuff. Melanoma may be a small looking thing, but it's deadly. And if I'd waited a little while longer and that thing had gotten into the lymph nodes, those cancerous cells can move to the lymph nodes and from there they move to the vital organs of the body and there's not a whole lot can be done at that point. I'm telling you, I'm on a mission to try to help some people. I didn't know how to talk to doctors. I didn't know how to ask questions. I didn't know how to answer questions. I didn't know what in the world was going on. And I saw several doctors and had several different opinions and I had to learn real quickly that I had to make my decisions based on what I was getting from the different doctors and their different opinions. I was on a bad roller coaster ride. I was in a dark place for several weeks. And if I can help somebody not to have to go to that dark place, then this is all worthwhile. I, I had to learn that doctors are coming from a different point of view and I had to take it all into consideration. I had to understand their mindset. And to make a long story short, I put it all into a book. You can read all the details there, my entire story. The outcome is not bad. They did go back and do surgery. They wanted to remove my ear, but we reached a compromise. I managed to save my ear. I still have it. They replaced half of it with skin from down on my neck, and that's another story. But I'm so grateful that they got it all. There was a little bit left, and it's a good thing they went back in and took out the rest of it, or there would have still been more problems. So I'm, I'm on a mission. The next five years are going to be something else. They're going to monitor me about every three months. I went to the dermatologist a couple weeks ago. They took off five little things on my body and all five of them came back clean. So there's the first hurdle. I'm here to tell you it's serious business. And I've written a book called Fears, Tears, and Ears. You need to check out my book. It's a Kindle book. You don't have to have a Kindle to read a Kindle book. You can download a free app from Amazon and you can read it on your desktop computer or you can read it on your smartphone, but you need to read it. And there's a link below this video that will direct you to the right spot. And I, I just want so badly to help somebody not to have to face these fears alone and not to have to face all these emotions and not know what to expect. And if I can help just one person, then it's all worthwhile. Skin cancer symptoms are easy to spot if you know what to look for. And if you're carrying around something that you're even concerned about a little bit, I'm encouraging you today, go get it checked out. It's not worth it. You can't wait around. Don't risk your life over some little something that may or may not be important. If it's melanoma, it's important. Go get the book, Fears, Tears, and Ears. Read it. Save yourself some heartache. If you're not facing medical decisions, maybe somebody else that you know is, get the book. Help somebody today. In the U.S., an estimated 9,480 people will die from melanoma in 2013. One person dies of melanoma every hour, every 57 minutes to be exact. Click the link below this video. Check out Fears, Tears, and Ears. Do it now. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Together, we can save a lot of grief and misunderstandings.